following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 22nd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you, can, when you and I can make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, whoops, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can go ahead and send me an email. You send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The only one that is not is the Dow Transports. They're off 35 points. Otherwise, the Dow's up 395, S&P 45, NASDAQ 100, 123, Russell 33, Semis 53. That's about 1.6% to the upside. Spot volatility X right now is down by 11%. So you're going to want to watch that come days end. Why? If the spot volatility has a one-day rate of change below minus 10%, I think that's the way that you would say it. It's the way Stevie's saying it. So minus 10% or less than minus 10%, but less than minus 10% with that, in any event, minus negative 10%. So less than minus negative 10%. Yeah, so in any event, you know what I'm saying out there. Why am I even mentioning this and babbling? Because what it does is it generates a initiation signal to higher price. So that's one of the things that you're going to want to watch out there. You've got gold up a buck right now, silver up 32 cents. Uh, Lights Recruit is up 27 pennies, leading the charge dollar-wise. The upside, booking holdings, 91 bucks, 4%. AutoZone, 35, 2%. Google, 22, less than 1%. Shopify, 22, 1.5%. And Amazon is up 6 tenths or 21 points. FedEx is a big loser, down 8%, 21 bucks. That's what's putting the hurt, or some hurt, inside the Dow Transports. Adobe is off 20 bucks or 3%. Facebook, 14, 4%. Uh, Peloton is down 8 and Endava PLC down 5% or seven buckaroonies out there. So here we go. Where do we want to go? You know what? Let's do this. We didn't get a chance, or I did not get a chance, just to do the market update overview, which is really just kind of helps us to understand, you know, what are the markets communicating to us as of right now, 109 in the afternoon. So we'll just start with this here. Let me just get all these things over to uh, where you, if you're looking at the boxes, you're seeing the actual data. So here's what we know right now about the ES. I mean, there's a couple things that we know. The very first thing that we know is that price is pulled back to test the bottom of its daily profile. And that's at 43.12. Only a close below that this week would signal a change in trend. Now, it could happen next week or the week after. Any weekly close, not daily close, any weekly close below that level would signal a change in trend. Now, at the moment, there is a new profile that is attempting to form. And price has made its way up to the bottom of that profile. When a profile forms above price, it tells us about overhead supply. Or another interpretation or way of defining that is it's a bearish directional signal. Now, that doesn't mean that price can't get above 4407. And in fact, it can. Where the counter trend rally would typically end, right now we're going to call it a counter trend rally, would be at 4426. That's the center of that daily profile. Now, again, this profile will not be confirmed until this evening, but we use the data that's available to us. Now, that's why we use that advanced detection tool because it is valid. 
So if price were to close about 4426, and this question came up yesterday, can I envision the ES mini getting up into the 4450-ish uh, level or what have you? Well, the answer would be now we've got a target. And that becomes 4483. Are we there yet now? The answer is no. What would get us there? Well, what would get us there would be a close about 4426. That would be the first thing. The second thing would be to have that spot volatility X have a one day rate of change below minus 10%. And that's where we're at right now. As we switch over, and then the, what the spot volatility index, what that signal would generate for us is that the spot volatility index would then likely target its 50 day exponential moving average. That's at 1866. If that unfolds, that is going to go ahead and push the ES mini or the SP 500 up higher. In the case of the NQ, this also pulled back, tested and rejected the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. I don't show the top of that weekly profile on this uh, chart here. And we can also see that in the case of the NQ, it too is attempting to form a new profile. And that profile is above price. So where would a counter trend rally in the NQ end? Excellent question. Same outcome. 15, 330, 250. It could be 15, 257. That's the bottom of the box, but the center right now is at 15, 332. If the NQ closes above that, then that tells us about a rally back to the top of that profile, and that's at the 15, 557 level. The U.S. dollar index, speaking of new profiles, we've got a number of them today. The U.S. dollar index also attempting a new profile. Now, this one is bearish in structure and prices with inside the profile. So the key level to be watching here. Number one, yesterday was a doji candle, so that makes any lower close today a bearish engulfing candle. That's easy peasy, but with it being a doji, it's not as significant or it's not as significant for Stevie, not when we have support and resistance levels. So the key level of support for the U.S. dollar index is 93.09. That is the center of this new Structure, bearish structured profile. Again, this will not be confirmed until this evening, but a close below that level, 9309, would then suggest a move down to the 9240 level, the bottom of that profile. Gold is sneaking, is very sneaky. Uh, it is just slightly above the top of that daily profile. It is within its bullish structured weekly profile out here. No change in trend broken there. It needs a weekly close below that. We're looking at daily bars here. So as long as gold can close back above 1774.60, uh, it, too, will not have a change in trend signal. The same is the same case in silver. Now, silver needs to close above 2277. It's trading right now at uh, 20. What is it trading? 2292. It, too, is trying to form a new profile above price. So telling us about a lot of overhead supply in the case of the ES, the NQ and inside of silver right now. Uh, as far as where the key resistance level is, in this profile, it's simply the bottom. This is a fairly equally weighted profile. So any close above 2318, well, that, that should be its target. But any close above 2318 says then we could be looking at 2364, 2411. In the case of light sweet crude, remains bullish, uh, has the A to B equals CD pattern with a projection of 7616 to the upside prices above the top of its uh, daily profile. Look on this retracement here uh, from the last couple of days. Again, this is a bearish structured profile. This formed below price. Okay, instead of overhead supply, you've got under whatever supply. But look at where on the trading day of uh, September 20th, price pulls back, tests the center of that bearish structured profile, and bounces off of that. That is a bullish message. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. I believe uh, Gus Porticalis is uh, made a appearance inside our uh, Tiger's Den as uh, he has uh, provided us with another way to talk about that spot volatility index, one day rate of change uh, below minus 10 percent. And it goes like this. Uh, by the way, Gus Porticalis in our Tiger's Den, uh, also known as uh, Jimmy D, he said, hey, just say it like this. If the VIX is negative double digits, there you go. And that's where the there you go. He's got to be uh, Gus Porticalis. Uh, Porticalis, is that his name? From my big fat Greek wedding, one of Stevie's uh, uh, favorite movies just kind of uh, watch. You know, you don't need any mind or any thought process or all to watch that. In any event, uh, here is the, uh, here are days. And they're identified in green arrows when we have those one day rate of change signals. Does it work all the time? That's an excellent question. And the answer is no. But does it work? Amy? This is not a coin flip. It's not even close to a coin flip with regard to how often it works out there. So that's something for us to keep an eye on. Let's do this here. We've got a couple of questions that have come in. I don't want to get behind on those. And uh, so the first one came in. Ooh, the first one came in from uh, Mike M. Mike is in uh, Sarasota, and he's got a call spread on for ticker symbol DKS. So that's Dick Sporting. Good. So let me just uh, share with you, Mike, uh, what the charts are communicating to us. So we can see that Dick Sporting Goods closed below the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile a couple of weeks ago. And it's just been hanging around its breakout area. Now, this is not the typical breakout area that I refer to when we're taking a look at the TD9 counts. But we did have a wide gap, a wide ranging bar. And there's a gap in there. You know, if you were to fill this in from the close of the prior day, the prior day being August 24th, to the open of August 25th, that would be one heck of a wide-ranging bar. And so sometimes that will act as support. And that's an area of support. You can see if we draw the yellow line across the screen. I don't know if it's going to be yellow. It will be by the time I select the right one. Let me see here. Is it going to be yellow? 
yellow horizontal line. There we go. So if we just simply come to the bottom of that gap out here, we'll see how this, and this is what I'm just using the low from August the 25th. So Mike, that is held. And without being able to break, that is held, so that's a level of support. And we can see on the weekly basis, price has made its way back to the bottom of that weekly profile. That profile formed last week. Now, this is just consolidating in between, uh, we'll call 128.25 and 136.21. Does Stevie have any other signals out here to assist Mike? Well, let's pull over the white background charts. And as we take a look at the daily time frame, the daily time frame shows a TD9 count top, a Rose momentum indicator top. Uh, all which took price back to that uh, breakout area. Resistance, again, the bottom of profile. So no additional information here necessarily, other than the topping pattern. We look at the weekly chart. Price is also pulled back, not just to the bottom of that profile, Mike, but to its green oscillator and change line. So for the weekly time frame, uh, this remains bullish here and suggests higher price. Let's go look at the short-term time frame chart. All right, on a 30-minute basis, you get to it gets to a TD9 count top and price pulls back. Now, we can see that during this process here, the oscillator and change line changed color at about 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, 10 o'clock. This is a 30-minute chart this morning out here. That then says what we should see is a test of that oscillator and change line. Price and that line typically catch up to each other. Well, Mike, that's what's unfolding right now at 122 in the afternoon. If price can hold this level, I mean, right where it's trading right now, the actual oscillator and change line print number is 133.86 or 133.96 right now. If price can hold this level and then clear that uh, bar number eight, that was the high from 12 noon, high noon out there. That high is 135.35. That's going to tell you that price is going to make its move up to the 141.41 level. What happens if price closes below the oscillator and change line? Then those profile levels become potential support. 133.33, 132.75, and then Mike, finally the breakout level. That's the TD9 breakout level. That's at 132.31. If price closes below that, then that signals lower price. So I think that's what's going on here. Everything seems to indicate, at least at this stage here, that what DKS wants to do is uh, trade higher. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to your trade. Best of uh, luck, and thanks so much for writing in. The next question coming in from uh, Tim, and Tim wants to take a look at ticker symbol AN. AN is AutoNation. Could you please take a look at AutoNation? Looking for a long entry point to hold days, a few weeks. Um, so, whew, well, you're going to have to wait for a retracement here, most likely, unless you're a person that wants to chase. Uh, then I don't know that you are. And if we take a look at the profile charts out here, price well above the daily profiles. And now price is trying to take out the top of the weekly. It's only Wednesday at 123 in the afternoon. We don't know whether or not price is going to close above 121.61. But if it does here, Tim, that says higher price. Let me pull over the other charts here, the white background charts, to see if there's any kind of other signals out here. Let's look to the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, bar number eight today. So this is in the process of potentially forming a TD9 count top. That could form between today, Wednesday, and Friday. And then if we get that, what we should see is price pull back to the oscillator and change line. Currently, that's printed at 115.63. We just looked at a 30-minute time frame chart for DKS. Here you can see the oscillator and change line turn colors back on, uh, looks like, September the 16th. So price and that line should catch up to each other. That might be your entry into a position here on a weekly basis. No, no topping signal uh, here. And uh, I'll just go to a 30-minute chart. Nothing bearish. It does have a Rhodes momentum indicator top. The reason I say nothing bearish yet is because price is still above that green oscillator and change line. So what we really want to do here, Tim, is look for some type of pullback. You may see that form beginning next week. Maybe it, you know, maybe today is the uh, short term top. And then we want to go take a look at the intraday chart. So unless you're going to chase it, and I cannot suggest that you chase it, knowing that today is bar number eight of the TD nine count, I think you just got to uh, keep your hands in your pockets at the uh, moment. Uh, Larry writes in, this is Larry, I'm not, uh, Larry says, hey, someone predicted the market will go down 85% after the smoke clears, whatever that means. It was posted in the comments. Has anything that extreme ever happened? Is FedEx a good buy now? 
Well, let's go take a look at, well, let me let me do this. Um, has something, has the market ever gone down 85%? Markets have certainly gone down 85%. Um, I think Bitcoin is the last one to have done something like that. Somebody in the den probably can tell me whether that's the case, or maybe they have a recollection of something that is retraced by, you know, 75, 85% out there. So is that possible? Sure. Um, is it likely? Heavens to Betsy, no. Oh, my God. That, that is like so far-fetched. Enron, yeah, that would be a good example. Uh, you know, just uh, uh, simply, uh, you know, an accounting uh, nightmare like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, here's what I hear. You know, Larry, this is a uh, and I don't want to. Uh, I want you to I, I'm going to wave my magic wand, Larry, and we just made you the world's uh, best money market manager out there. Yep, you're, you're the best. And uh, what does the best money manager take into consideration? They absolutely take into consideration. Now, that if you're the best, you've got to be thinking globally. You've got to be looking around the world. You want to understand what are markets doing around the world. Why? Because what you're always looking for is confidence. And right now, the confidence is still in the U.S. The S&P is up 18% on the year. We can't see that in any other market across the world. The global flow of capital, these markets are not going to go down 85%. It's just not happening. Money's got to flow somewhere. It will eventually continue to flow back into the U.S. We'll be right back. We'll take a look at FedEx. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at FedEx. FDX is the uh, ticker symbol. And uh, LG, Larry wants to know, is uh, FedEx a good buy now? So as we take a look at the uh, charts here, these are our profile charts here, Larry, and we can see price well below the daily. Uh, now taking out the uh, weekly bottom of its bullish structure profile, so we know that is a bearish signal to us. And price is trading below a swing point from back on the week of January 25th, 2021. That had uh, about 12 million shares. You're already at 20 million shares for the week, and it's only Wednesday. Uh, price is also below the bottom of its monthly profile, 243. So we've got to go switch to the white background chart, see if we can find any kind of signals here for Larry. And on a daily time frame, that's what's going to be popping up first. Uh, clearly, there is an A to B equals CD down pattern that's out here. And uh, so the only thing that would uh, confirm that A to B equals CD to the downside one thing would be a bullish reversal candle. So it needs that. But when we take a look, actually, let me go back here because I can draw the A to B equals CD pattern. It's easier to draw this on the weekly and easier for you to see that. It's it's very clear here. So let me do that on the weekly charts. And so on the weekly charts out here, the A to B equals CD to the downside that I've got, we can see that so far prices at about the one to two level. So that's got potential, let's say. And if you read Tom's book, he'll say when you get to a one to two eight equals CD, typically uh, what you uh, do is uh, the market does something else. But uh, what Stevie says is you need a bullish reversal candle for the cavalry to tell you that. Otherwise, price could easily make its target at 205.39. That's the one to 1.2618 A to B equals CD. So back to the uh, daily time frame, white background charts. Here, what you'd be looking for at a minimum would be some type of bullish reversal candle. You'd really like to see it on a weekly chart. Let's pull open the weekly chart out here. And on the weekly, this is now bar number nine of a TD nine count breakdown. So when FedEx top, it had a road's momentum indicator top. Now this is going to be bar number nine of a TD nine count, right back at a breakout level of support, 225.32, trading below that, you're at 230, and then 217.40. So we know that with a TD nine count, Larry, that it can be bar number eight, nine, or the bar following nine. It's going to be the lowest low. So it could be next week. And with this being a wide ranging bar right now with price trading below 235.32, I'd say more likely than not it would be next week that we'd be looking at as a potential bottom inside of FedEx. And that's just using the weekly time frame. Of course, what we would look for there is you and I, we would go down to some intraday charts, such as a 30 minute chart or 65, and we look for some type of bottoming signal. We don't have that as we speak right now in a 30. We don't have it in a 15. We don't have it in a 65 minute. We don't have it in the 130. So the answer to your question, is this a good buy? I don't have signals that suggest that. However, I on the weekly chart says we should continue to watch this and observe for some type of bullish reversal candle on the daily basis and uh, some type of bottoming pattern with the short term time frame. So LG, I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Um, let's go switch over to some requests inside the uh, Tiger's Den. Uh, this request is, I think there's only one in the Tiger's Den, and that is to take a look at ticker symbol P-I-N-S. I believe that's Pin Trust out here. And uh, let me get that flowing on my white background charts as well, P-I-N-S. And yeah, it is Pin Trust. And so the question is what? Um, where's the question? Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I know somebody requested it. Uh Oh, right there. It's a private message. OK, uh, it's right. It's right in front of me. Can we look at pins for an entry? OK, sure. So in this case here, you can see it's daily A to B equals CD to the downside. Completed the bullish reversal candle back on August 20th. So it's retesting that level. So we're just going to look at a simple. And, and that 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 pattern is held up. The buy the D point that is still in play. Support has not been taken out support. Would, a price would need to close below 51.95 in order for that to take place. So let's just look at uh, swing point test volume wise. 8.19, you had 11 million shares. That was tested a couple of days ago with 10 or all close to 11. So that's too much volume. I get 10 again yesterday. And uh, today is about 4 million shares at 134. So interesting. That's given us a confirmation. Now, here's the issue that you've got is that look at where resistance is at. You know, you're 55, 16, then you've got that bullish structured profile. And so a counter trend rally would just simply end at 55, 70. If price gets above that, yeah, you can see it moving to 57, 30. You have price below the weekly profile out here. So pins, uh, pin trust is really going to have to give us some nice signals here, maybe more so than what we just looked at. Well, 
here we've got it. This is the daily time frame. Price has been pushing lower, doing less relative energy. So you've got your um, you've got your road's momentum indicator. By the way, that buy the D point that was also a TD nine count. I'm referring to the August 19th session. But uh, uh, who asked this? This doesn't take away from the fact that you've got some real battles up top. 55.16, 55.70, 57.30, and then finally 59.41. So you've got to make that you're looking for an entry or something. Uh, you've got the entry signal. The question is, how much confidence do you have um, that it's going to be able to get through those battleground areas? On a weekly chart out here, got a hammer candle as of right now, but we don't have any kind of a bottoming signal out here, or pattern, I should say, not signal, some type of pattern to go with it. Nothing on the monthly uh, the 30-minute chart, just to see what this has done. You've got a TD9 count top that is in play right now, but that's trying to that will fail. The TD9 count top will fail with a close above 53.99, and price right now is at 54 bucks. Uh, but we got to wait for this bar here to uh, close. But a close above that level says that you should see Pinterest make its way move, make its way up to the 55.28 area. That's the TD9 breakdown level for but that could just be the counter trend move out there but if you're asking me did this form a bottoming pattern the answer is yes and now you also know where you've got your resistance level so i hope that that helps you out and thanks so much for the request that was inside our tiger's den next question is coming here from michael oh i'm sorry we've got a caller on the line i believe brent uh, are you uh, are you on the line brent i am steve how are you doing today Good. Sorry, I almost overlooked that. Uh, this is Brent from Martinez, California. And uh, Brent, uh, my, what is it that you'd like to take a look at today? We had looked at this in the past, maybe a week or so ago. It's uh, 23 and Me. And the oh, is right. Simple. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I like the so, fact that it put in that, uh, completed that pattern. I think it was the D point came in around, I think it was August 16th. And then I had a yes. nice kind of strength the day after that. And then it you know, it kind of come down and, you know, tested that area on lower volume. And then we've had another sign of strength. And then Monday it held up pretty well, you know, in a down market. So I just want to get your thoughts, um, you know, to the upside, what areas are you watching as far as the Sure. So, you know, what's kind of interesting here, Brent, is we've had a couple signs of uh, strength. And so the first one, as you pointed out, was August 17th. And where price ran into resistance was the top of that profile, you know, and then it backed off. And then a new profile formed. That new profile forms on August the 18th. Where does price run into resistance? The top of its daily profile. You get a sign of strength, as you mentioned a couple of days ago. That sign of strength had wide, um, had big volume, but not really wide price spread. And I'm referring to the day of September 17th. Nonetheless, if we take a look at today's action, boom, right up into the top of that daily profile. So 908 is really a key level for 23andMe. If, if price can close above that, close above the top of a daily profile, I think that would be a bullish message, Brent, uh, for, and that bullish message would then signal, at least at this stage, a move up to 1006. 1006 being the top of the weekly profile. Hey, Brent, we're about to go to a break. I'm going to ask you to hold on. If you would, we'll come back. We'll take a look at, uh, we'll continue looking at 23andMe. Folks, the ticker symbol there is ME if you want to fire that up on your charts at home if you're following along on the uh, home game. Steve Rhodes with Brent in Martinez, California. We'll be back in just a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're looking at 23andMe. Ticker symbol is ME. Hey, Brent, have you already taken a position uh, in this, or are you looking to enter into a position? I just wanted to, because once it made that pattern, I was I was falling at the time, and then I just, yeah, it's just a small starter position, but I, I like the stock. I, I think there's some potential in what they do, and yeah. so I... Uh, I, and I do appreciate you that that level that you gave me you know, earlier before the break is what I was looking to, to see. You know, that's a, an area that, of course, I, I know it got near that today. If it can close above that, I know we'd like to see a couple of days close above that level and show that they can hold that. So that, that's sure. what I'm kind of looking for. Yeah. So and at least one day above it for sure. So it's slightly bearish structured profile. So you've got the sellers hanging out at 908. I mean, we can see that. Um, but it has all the signals you're certainly looking for. That one sign of strength off of the bottom. Now we've just got this little bit of a sideways move. Um, you know, for those folks that are looking to get into it, if 908 is not taken out and you want to take a long position, I'd say 876 to 833 would in essence be your range out there. So I don't really see anything else on any other time frame. I believe it was the 65. No, the 130 minute. Yeah, so the 130 minute chart formed a TD nine count top, and it did it right at its breakdown resistance level of 939. So, you know, this looks like unless price can close above the top of that daily profile, there may be a a, a short retracement out here, and that would say about the 865 type level would be an area to look. Uh, that gets us back to the 876 of the uh, center of its uh, bear structure profile. So I like it. 
And if price can clear the nine, uh, was it nine eleven, nine oh nine, something like that, then we'd be looking for a move to the ten fifty four area. Um, is there anything else uh, with regard to this stock specifically that I can provide you information on? No, I think you've targeted what I was looking for, Steve. That's the uh, level Perfect. of the watching and, and then the other that you just gave to. So, Perfect. Um, yeah, see how it can progress here, what happens with it. Yeah, I, I kind of like what it's done so far. At least, you know, it's some yes. of, you know, the type of things we look for off of a bottom and totally giving some indications that it, you know, wants to try to make a move higher. We'll see. It depends on what the market's going to do here. But yes. so far, that's kind of cooperated with what I thought might happen when I talked to you on Monday. So. Yep. We'll just, uh, Perfect. We'll keep an eye on things and just have yourself a great day and a great week. And I really appreciate your help as always. Just uh, you take care. Hey, all right, Steve. You bet. And thank you so much for calling in. That was Brent in Martinez, California. And uh, now we'll go to a uh, Michael P's question. Michael says, "Hello, Steve. I'm in Nvidia. Nvidia calls from about two ten. Nvda. So let's get that up on our screen out here. What do you think a sell target should be?" Okay, so as we take a look at NVIDIA, here's what we know. We know that this thing pulled back a couple days ago, gapped down, closed right below the bottom of its uh, bullish structured profile in the very next session back inside it. So uh, the question becomes, is this just a counter trend rally? And that's a possibility. I would say it's more likely a possibility if there were two consecutive closes below the bottom of that daily profile. But that is not the case. So, Michael, if you price can close above, it does not necessarily have to happen today. 217.99 price should make another run for the 227.32 level that would be the top of its daily profile at 230.43 that is the top of its weekly profile so let me pull over the nvidia chart here the white background charts see if there's any other signals out here for us the daily says hey mike a resistance could be at the 223.75 area as well the weekly chart what do we have out here not much uh, you know, the, the bottom of its daily profile is held. Monthly time frame chart, what do we have? And so, Michael, you're asking me specifically, what would a sell target uh, be? Um, you know, it depends on the expiration that you've got. Uh, but right now, this looks like it wants to con looks like it wants to continue to trade higher. What I'm going to do here, because we know that once you break through a bullish structured profile, the counter trend rally can end at the center of that profile. That's the more likely area, and we're there right now. I'm just going to switch to the short term time frame charts. So on a 30 minute basis, do we have a top? The answer is no. We do not have a topping pattern. Well, look, I could draw it in A to B equals CD, and we had the dark cloud cover candle that took place at 1 o'clock. The oscillator and change line changed colors. So if price can get below 217, 217.10, that would suggest to run back to the 215.46 level out there. So, But is that something to jettison your position? Now, we'd really need to see short-term support levels fall on the 30-minute time frame, and that's not what we're looking at. We're just looking at, hey, you know, it's made a nice run. It uh, needs to rest. And uh, that's what the 30 minute time frame chart suggests. 65 minutes says no problems. Uh, that's not going to help me. I don't think that's going to help me. So, uh, where can it run to? Look, it, the best thing that could happen to NVIDIA is that it closes above the center of that profile. And if it does that, then my God's favor moving up to that 227 level. Uh, you also put here, how does Bitcoin look? BTC. So BT, well, let me do this here. I think I've got the futures contracts somewhere in one of my bottom tabs out here. So let me see if I can find that. It won't take too long. And if not, I'll go ahead and just simply rebuild it. Uh, Bitcoin should be, there we go, Bitcoin. So as we take a look at Bitcoin, the active contract is September still. So let me get uh, September going on. Let's just do this here. BTC09, oops. 9-21. September, really? It's got two days. Nah, it's two days to close. Is there in December? Wow. I, well, I guess we could, uh, I think we should look at October. Yeah, so I'm going to change that out here. BTC 10-21 out here. Uh, okay. So here's what we know we're taking. Like we have both September and October up on our screen. And Michael, price is below the daily profiles out here. So, you know, that's never a good sign. But we want to go take a look at the white background chart for Bitcoin and see if there's any other kind of signals out here. So let's put the daily up on our chart. Let's take a look at it, see if we've got any kind of So they, we've got, whoops, what did I do there? So you've got this topped out here with wave number seven. That's Donner, Basil Chapman, and Saratoga Bob 
who uh, really helped to spot those uh, rogue waves or those wave number seven patterns. I said rogue wave, but you've got to learn Basil's strategy. This does not necessarily mean this was a rogue wave, but it still is wave number seven, the seventh inning stretch. So this suggests, Michael, that uh, the October contract for Bitcoin could pull back to the 30,005 area. That's what that daily time frame tells us. A 30 minute chart out here just shows sideways consolidation. So at this stage here, we'll go with uh, Bitcoin giving us a signal that it may want to target the 3005 area. And so, Michael, I hope that that helps you out with both Bitcoin and NVIDIA. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Let me see if we've got any other requests out here. Um, oh goodness, I needed to uh, go through all these emails during one of the breaks. Hector, Hector writes in, and Hector wants to take a look at the yen versus gold. The yen is headed north. Does that equal gold headed south? So that's a great question. I'll see if I can pull up my yen gold charts. I haven't really done much with that uh, lately, Hector, and uh, I may have to come back to that question tomorrow. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome uh, back, folks. So I went and dug out one of my old uh, charts out here. You've got the continuous contract for gold. We're just looking at uh, closing prices out here. That's at the top portion of the screen. And then we've got the uh, Japan, we've got the yen on the uh, bottom portion. And sometimes there is a directional correlation and sometimes they're not. So uh, the first thing uh, that you had mentioned, Hector, was that the yen is headed north. So before we totally jump on that conclusion let's actually look at the yen chart out here and what we're going to notice first this tops with wave number seven that's letter g and then it forms a, a by the d point that by the d point pattern looks like this here's the a point from that wave number g down to the b point and then i'm just going to go ahead and copy that and then move that over to the c point so there we go and then we can see that the a to b equals cd or a gartley by pattern formed with this bull sash candle that was back on the trading day of back on the trading day of August the 4th. Now, is the yen moving higher versus the US dollar? Yes. Where is it running into? Resistance, the oscillator and change line. What happens if price closes above the oscillator and change line? Not much. Actually, what happens is what I see out here, Hector, more so is an A to B equals CD pattern that has turned into a sideways consolidation. And I don't have a, other than the sideways consolidation, I don't have any other clear signal when it comes to the yen. So with regard to gold, I think what's more important than, you know, the direction of the yen, not that that can't be an influencing factor, but I think what's more important than that is just simply what is gold doing? How is gold performing in all of the major currencies out here? So for that chart, we go back to something like, where are we at here? Gold, gold, gold indexes gold right here so this chart here we can see gold is moving slightly higher today in terms of u.s dollars oh let's end the show higher in euros higher in yen higher in pounds hector that's really what you want to see for a rally you want to see the instrument moving higher in all of the major currencies folks thanks so much for joining us stay tuned you've got two more great hours left your favorite polar bear david white with the power trading hour he's up next tom o'brien he'll take us home and i'll be back with you tomorrow on terrific thursday take care folks